Deep in space within the Ruckbat sector lay a G-type star whose third planet was perfect for colonization. Man named it Hearn, and launched three immense colony ships that scythed across the vast reaches of space. After abandoning their aircraft in orbit, they settled on the planet below. As their new lives flourished on Hearn, a new enemy approached. Every 200 years, the red star passed close to Hearn. Deep within the tail of this comet, Life existed, a single-minded parasite known as Thread, an enemy without conscience or feeling, whose only instinct was to destroy and devour the food-rich hunting grounds of Pern so it could survive. There was no escape from its appalling attacks. As the Thread hit the ground, it destroyed all organic life it touched. The colony was ravaged and was forced to take shelter in the mountains to the north as Thread laid waste to their equipment, destroyed their technology, and brought them to breaking point. With hope evaporating, and on the verge of extinction, they turned to an indigenous form of life to save them. By genetically modifying fire lizards, and utilizing their effective defense system, they created a new new race of vast dragons. Named after the earth legends they resembled, the fire-breathing reptiles took to flight to sear thread from the sky. When the battle was over, the settlers returned to the simpler life. With the passing of time came the fading of memories. As time passed, they forgot about their home, about the machines that forged the land in which they lived, and eventually, about the spacecraft floating in orbit. And now, when Thread falls, the air is filled with the cry of dragon song, as the dragon riders fly in formation again. It was nearing the end of the seventh pass, and, 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 and two, two, two young, 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 young men, men, men had been selected as candidates for impression. As the, 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 the crowd gathered out of the hatching grounds, the candidates prepared themselves for the ceremony to begin. The two could not have been more different. The elder, Rolf, driven by ambition and family expectancy, eagerly awaited the arrival of the dragon that was to merge thought and consciousness, to become one with him. The other, Dalcor, was filled with fear. He had heard the tales about the dangers these ceremonies held. And when the egg cracked, 
The fledgling dragon began to make his way out of its shell. Roth stepped closer, pushing Dalcor aside, ignoring all sense of occasion and respect. The crowd stood on in awe and waited for the beautiful creature to break into the Pern air and select its rider for the first and only time. Roth leaned forward, waiting for the dragon to reach out and touch his mind. But the dragon pushed past him, knocking him to the ground, and advanced over to the terrified Dalcor. The young boy stared back, petrified, as the awesome beast studied his... his, 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 Then deep within his mind he heard a voice calling him soft and comforting. Greetings to Kor, I am Zenth. The dragon spoke, using Dalcor's new dragon name. Zenth had chosen him. They were now as one, their thoughts intertwined forever. Decor had become a dragon rider. Roth stared on, bewilderment and confusion plain on his face. How could such a mighty animal possibly not select him? All his expectations were suddenly shattered as he pulled himself off the rocky floor. As Decor bonded with his new soulmate, Roth looked up to see his father turn his back, devastated by his son's wallow in his own dishonor. Roth cried out to his father, but his cries fell on deaf ears. They had gone. Disgraced by his family, Roth was sent to Healer Hall in a bid to salvage his career, whilst the timid Decor grew strong and followed his destiny to the skies, with Zenth at his side forever. Good morning, Uncle. Bad dream? Too much wine is all. A new shipment from Benden arrived last night. I know. Everyone had a good time, though. Just as Nalaya would have wanted. She was a good whale woman. She'll be missed, Mr. Round here. None will miss her more than Marath. She is desolate and risks leaving her clutch. A gold n- never leaves her clutch with or without their werewoman. There is always a first time. Then we must find a new werewoman for the golden egg in the hatching ground. I'm sure Sabor realizes the situation. He does. (gasps) I always itch to call. You always itch. Your hide and your belly are all, all you think about. My hide needs oiling. The oil is on the shelves. Unless you knocked it off in a stupor last night. The brush should be nearby.
Would you like me to tell you how to use items in your inventory? No thanks, I can make manage. hurts enough without you intruding. Then oil my hide, and I'll be quiet. right now.
Thanks to Kor. Yugothes told me that Sabor wants to meet with you and the rest of the the wing wing let me take her in the dead. a new werewoman, no doubt. A search is to require that. No suitable candidates are here in the wheel. We must go to the hole. I'm not sure the other riders will like that too much. They think hold stock is inferior. Nonsense. It is what is on the inside that is important to us. Not, not where they come from. Don't let the old men's dragons hear you say that. You know that rigid tradition is all that drives them. To... The Red Star has almost passed. Soon traditions will have no meaning. Perhaps. It has been known that the whole hold lords would be begin to in question quite quite not for purpose on Pern. We shall have to wait and see. Who are you? Uh, I'm Decor. Well, Decor, when at least you become more conversant, perhaps we will speak. Go now, I'm busy. Dust! Where did I put that journal? Have you lost something? My journal. Well, where did you leave it? I, I forget. It's not that it's got any personal things in it, it, but it contains a list of all the skins here and what's on them. Oh, I can't file anything without it. If you find it, be sure to bring it back, would you? I'll keep an eye out. You look a little confused. Do you know your way around the weir? I only say as I have a man man by who could give you view. A map sounds good. Oh, now where is it? Ah, oh, ah, oh, here. 
You can look at it by pressing the map button. Different maps will highlight different parts of that location. Some may even lead you to hidden areas. Thanks. I'm sure this will be useful. And remember, if you see my journal... I'll be sure to bring it back to you. Found that journal yet? <laughs> And where do you think you're going? What's behind that curtain? The Weir Leader's private reading room, and only those of considerable reputation are allowed in there, I'm afraid. Have you found that journal yet? Good morning, Decor. Bahal, I didn't see you at Nalaya's farewell last night. I was on watch. As a consequence, I am exhausted beyond measure. 
I take it you have heard about our wing leader calling a meeting. Of course, and I look forward to it, but first I must rest. Of course. Actually, are you heading down to Fabenswear? If you are, as I am utterly spent, would you give this skin to him? He and I were talking at great length the other evening about some of the great ballads, and he requested some of them from me. I'm sure I'll dirt 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 Thanks, Decor. My duty to you. If someone could wake me once the meeting starts, I would appreciate it. A dragon rider. Thank the first egg. What's the mem mem matter, Julian? You seem distressed. It's my boy, Jim. He's been gone all night and I'm worried out of my mind. Where was he seen last? He went to the wearable last night to play with Jax and the other children, but never came back. Well, I'd better go and see if I can find him. Thank you. My husband, Moulin, is already out looking. If you see him, he may be able to help. Just admiring your work. Thank you. I call it the world of Pern Tapestry. When it's finished, it will show the whole of Pern in fine detail. That's fascinating. Very beautiful. In order to complete it, I need someone very reliable to get out of that information for me. Someone whose reputation precedes them. Decor, you're up early. I bet your head feels a bit thread-beaten, doesn't it? I felt better. Now, about that gambling debt you owe me. Gambling debt? I must have been drunk. <sighs> the look on your face. You were right, men. That was a good prank. You have no debt, lad. At least not with me. You're sharply in here, this most smart space. The dice were unfair Fair last night. I need to cover my losses, and Timen here offered to play a few rounds with me. And we nearly lost our table, too, when you decided to carve your name in it. Until Catan stayed your hand... My apologies. Well, I shall leave you men to it. Clear this skies is a feather decor. Oh, it's you. 
What do you want? I wanted to talk for a while. I suppose you've heard about this meeting with Sabor. As is every writer, I presume. I think it's disgraceful that we have to lower ourselves to look for inferior stock in the holds. It is breaking tradition. If breaking tradition allows us to have a new werewoman and save the future of our dragons, then so be it. But the were has always bred people for impression. Especially the werewoman. <laughs> Why are you so afraid of change? Do you think that now the holds and halls have little use for us, they will begin to question our purpose? Never. Never. The dragon riders are the only reason their homes have not been razed to the ground and their flesh seared from their bones. And they should be great people? They do provide for us after all. It's a fair exchange. Wary teeth, man. The riders are superior in every respect. Apart from some idiot greens like Nueth, there are some characters out for his blood after his escapade last night. No one seems to be able to tell me what he did. I think Sabor may have something to say on the matter. Shells, man. Sabor is a fool, as are most of the riders here, always talking about how things must change with the times. Well, I'm too long in the tooth to start thinking differently. The current ways have lasted for hundreds of turns for a good reason. They won't go changing now. You'll, you'll see. Whatever you say, Faben. I can see there's no point in arguing with you. I'll be there as soon as I've finished reading these ballads. Actually, Vahul said he would lend me one of his, but he hasn't got around to it. If you see him, could you get it for me? He already asked me to deliver it to you. Oh, I see. Well, give it here, lad. Don't that lately. Right. Thanks. You can go now. Good morning, Decor. I trust you had a good night last night. Don't start, Ned. I've had enough from Zenth. Anyway, I heard that your night was better than mine. I'm so embarrassed, Decor. The news must be all round the weir by now. Pretty much. But no one seems to be able to tell me what you did. Well, it's rather a sorry affair. Azoth is ready to mate, and we green riders have a tendency to, how shall I put it, become on edge when our dragon gets a ready to fly. And you were on edge last night? So much so that between Azoth and the bend and wine, I think I may have become a bit too forceful in an argument. How forceful? I think I drew my knife on someone, but I can't remember who. By the, By the first egg, what are you going to do? Well, I would apologize, but I don't know who to apologize to. And I'm afraid to go out of my weir for fear of a dagger in the back. Do you think you could see your way to finding out who it was and apologize on my behalf? Well, I'm sure it was unintentional. I'll ask a turn for you. Thank you, Decor. You do me a great honor. I'm 
was so ashamed of my behavior. Good morning, Deco. You, you look like you were having fun last night. I was, what little I can remember of it. Nalaya would be pleased to know we celebrated her life so vigorously. And some more vigorously than others. You mean Neff? He made a proper display of himself, so I hear. I didn't see anything but rumors of flying this morning about him and one of the kitchen staff. Yes, I've already spoken to Nerf. Apparently he... Never mind that now. I'm glad you've arrived, Deco. I found this book in the gambling hall last night, and I don't quite know what to do with it. I don't know who it belongs to. I think I know. Lachin the librarian has lost his diary. It may belong to him. Would you take it to him, Deco? I have to oil that off. Of course. Thanks, Deco. Deco? Yes? Do you know what day it is? The same day it was when you found me that pearl last term. Could be, Decor. Could, could be. But don't worry yourself with it. I'm sure you have more important things on your mind. Hmm. Decor, you remember what trouble that caused last term, don't you? You spent the day searching for a pearl, letting your wear duties slip. Bronzes and greens are never... I know... I know... Good. We do have more important things to do than fishing, Decor. I hear Zabora is calling a meeting. Will you be there? Of course. I suppose I'll have to attend as well. Although I can't stand to be in the same room as the man. He sickens me. Such bitterness is not good for the wing salon. You should curb your anger. I lost my eye down to that fool's incompetent with all orders. He does not know how to control his wing during thread battle. And one day I'll make him regret what he did to me. Thread is an unpredictable foe. I have no love for Sabor either, but you cannot blame him for Thread. Well, he's a lot nearer than the Red Star. And to have that black guy I, 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 I take my place as wasting second just because they believe I am no longer suitable for duty. <laughs> Apparently, my, 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 my eyesight is a bit of my ability to fight. Salone, why are you so angry? I apologize. I suppose Nalalaya's death was a bigger blow than I first assumed. And with Naeth's timely performance last night. <clears throat> yes, I've spoken to him about that. Uh, I'll leave you for the time being. You look like you need to be alone. I'll see you at the meeting. Yes, you will.
journal and i went and had a new one made crack dust well i've no use for this new one now you may as well have it thanks i'm sure it will come in handy every time something important happens you should write it down but you must learn how to scribe before you can write anything now where did i put that skin When is this meeting going to start? El Tutal says that it used to be a long social body. He's trying to track down a drudge's child who didn't come home last night. It will probably start once Naeth has plucked up the courage to emerge from his wear. He's convinced someone wants to exact a terrible revenge on him. You can't go out there. It's way too dark yet. You'll have to wait until till daybreak. Nakor, I take it Zenth told you your riding gear was ready. He did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nasty marks on the hide. Hey, hey. And you, you got, got through, through that without a scratch? A little bruise, but nothing to worry about. That jacket has lasted me for me for countless turns. It must have been the hide of the most stubborn wear on Pern. Garan's wing has taken over thread fighting by you now. So I suppose that is the end of the action for me. I'm sure something's just round the corner to keep you busy. I have a feeling you may be right. Concentrate on this ride riding with people hanging over my shoulder. Well, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Oh my, a, a dragon rider. Forgive me, sir. I meant no offense. You're forgiven. What are you doing? I'm here from Harper Hall to deliver a new batch of skin games to the wary this personal collection. However, I forgot a couple of important papers. So I'm just prescribing them now. now, now. So you're a sir, 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 sir. I, I don't suppose you could take some time to show me your skills. I suppose so. Seeing as you're a dragon rider, I don't do this for everyone, you know. Of course, and I appreciate it. 
You already have a judge on so I can give you this thing things out of just you you just try typing it. Right small skins are precious. And right and it and off often. As if the information is even more so. That's all there is? Right small and right often? Well yes. You can view your journal at any time. Right the preciousness in the journal button. Whenever something very important happens, you should update your journal. Well, let's put it into practice. You have just earned your first skill. There are many more to find on Pern, all of which will give you enhanced abilities. To obtaining them all will be a difficult task as you must find a person with that skill to teach you. Also, you cannot use a new weapon until you are taught how. Prepasis is in the inventory button to see which skills you have obtained. They are shown on the left. When you find a new one, then that skill which will appear in the assassin's slot. Would you like me to repeat that? No, but thank you. Please, I must get these finished.
My duty to you, sir. Greetings, Raworth. I hope you don't mind me saying so, sir, but you should stay away from Tom Keating today. He's in a right foul mood. Has someone insulted his food again? Yes, sir. And you know how protective Tom is over his food. It is good for a man to take pride in his work. Surely it is. And it only takes a small insult from a green rider to upset old Tom. Oh, oh listen, listen, listen to me. To my apologies. I've spoken out of turn. I must get back to work. I suppose you're here to insult my breakfast spread. Meat rolls not good enough for you, eh? I have no quarrel with you, Tom. Your food has always been of the highest quality. Tell that to your arrogant friend, Nerf. Too much salt here, this class too bitter, the herd beast tastes rancid. It nearly came to blows. You have to understand, and that's, that's for free. Green is ready to need meat age, and he's not sort of wider on edge. I've spoken to him earlier, and he deeply regrets what he's done. But he attacked me! For which he is truly sorry. He didn't mean what he said. Ah, oh, well, maybe he had a point about the herd bees be tasting off. The last lot was a feeble-looking combined. So he's open to be given? For the time being. But if he ever does it again, I'll hang his hide out to dry. I'll pass the message on. Talking of passing messages, if you're going to Fort Hold in the near future, I've got an errand I'd like you to run. Seeing as I forgave your friend and all, I figure you dragon riders owe me a favor. Oh, Carl! Come up to help me with my hatching ceremony preparations. We need a meal big enough for a dragon. Dragon-sized meal? Hmm, sounds good, Roma. What do you want for me? What do I want? Why, ingredients to call ingredients! Ingredient? That's what I said! Ingredients! Lots of them! Here's the list! You better write this down! Don't want you to bring 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 back the wrong things now, do we? I will write them in my journal, Roma, but I'm sure I can remember them. <laughs> That's the sister, 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 Well, for starters, I need nettle weed, feather fur, and a whole bundle of flax. Well, that's not too bad. My old funny to call, I also need some old, old wine of at least 60 turns. Red wine, that is. Is that all? No, that's not all. You must also find me four tunnel snake eggs and, um, two, yes, two nice big wary eggs for old Rome. Wary eggs? Indeed, that should be about it. Now you be off now and let me cook. Return here if you find any of those ingredients, but remember, we have some time yet before the ceremony, so you make sure you get all those other more important things done first. <laughs> morning, Decor. What it will be this morning? need something for this head of wine. Too much wine, eh? I've just the thing. My own personal cure. What's in it? Something dangerous, I hope. We'll have to wait in the city. I'm hungry. What do you have to eat? 
we have had one one wine and if and if you meet beef beef and some fresh fruit. Meat rolls, it is. I can't give you any more, or there'll be none left for anyone else. Hello. And who might you be? The name's Finn. I'm here from Harper Hall. A runner? What brings you to Fort Ware? I bring the news that Salin, head woman of Harper Hall, sends her condolences upon the loss of werewoman Nalaya to the Ware of Fort. Send Salin our thanks and our good wishes. Very well, Decor. I bid you farewell in the knowledge that I shall see you again, perhaps sooner than you think. Hey. How do you know my name? Hello, lad. How's the head? A bit sore. I don't think Zenth is too happy with me either. Branth, too. Nothing worse than a dragon with a sore head. I'll bet Natoth is fuming this morning after what Nath did last night. And what did Nath do? You don't know? Well, far be it from me to tell you and risk the fellow further embarrassment. Very well. Zenth tells me I left my knife with you last night. Aye. I took it from you after you decided I'd describe your name in one of the gaming tables. That 
bed and been in wine when it's displaying, and I hardly ever drink it. I'd better show you how to use that knife in the way it's intended. No thanks, Katan. Maybe later. Probably for the best. Neither of us is in good condition for sparring. But bear in mind, my mind, you'll not be able to use that knife effectively until I show you how. If you change your mind, I'll be here for a while yet. When is this meeting going to start? And as soon as Temen and Barak can be bothered to show up, Temen's busy trying to win his money back. I wish someone would take those dice from them and throw them in the lake. Eltul says that he'll be along shortly. He's trying to track down a drudge's child who didn't come home last night. It will probably start once Naeth has plucked up the courage to swim with her from his way where he's convinced that someone wants to exact a terrible revenge on him. Yes, the call. What can you tell me of this place?
Nothing right now. Tom isn't too happy with you, but you're in the clear. Tom? The cook? Oh, this is some sort of bad dream. He'll poison my cla for sure. Fret not, my friend. The air is cleared, and your cla will be poison-free. Although you've done his herd beast a great disservice. The bubbly pies were fine. It was the herd beast that tasted foul. Did you not taste it yourself? Bitter to the bone. Bending wine took away most of the taste, I'm afraid. Well, thank you, Decor. I suppose I'd better go and apologize myself. Oh, by the way, I have some news for you. Oh, yes. Azoth thinks she may have found a potential weir woman within the weir. She seems to be a little more sensitive than the other greens. Really? Who? Ramala, Kendrick, the craftsman's daughter. She is out of the weir for the next couple of days, but perhaps you could talk to her when she returns. It would be good to find a new weir woman within the weir. you could help me now, Dragon Rider. You appear to me as someone I can rely on. 
What name do you go by? My name is Decor, and if I can be of any service... Well, during your travels, you must see a lot of this world. If you can return here every once in a while, I'm sure you can answer any questions I might have regarding other places and events. I can try. Thank you. I wouldn't disturb Morath if I were you. That was the last thing on my mind. How is she? Nalea's death hit her hard. She has become very introverted. I'm worried as she eats too little for her frame. How fares the golden egg? Morath seems to be tending to it more than the others. I'd wager we have about a week until it hatches. And finding a suitable candidate is of paramount importance. Thank you, Zelia. Oh, Dikoko? Yes? I wonder if you might return here when you become more knowledgeable of the ways of Pern. I might have something for you to look after.
again. Stuck again. Always getting stuck it is. What seems to be the problem here? Something's got lodged in the mechanism, so it has. Would take some enough formidable strength to budge it. Just can't seem to move it. Take somebody of formidable strength to do it, I fear. Oh, you startled me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No matter. You must be Decor. I am. And you are? I am Ramela, the daughter of Kendrick the Craftmaster. The elves scream. As of has told me of this one. She has had the means of a werewoman. Well, 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 I'm glad to have found you here. Really? The dragon of Tinsodo did that you are suitable for the golden egg. Me? A candidate for the werewoman? It would seem so. If you are interested, then you should begin to prepare for your yourself. Yes, of course. I'll make my way to that hatching ground straight away. I'd swear that these bees eat you up Firestone faster than I can break it. You're an unfamiliar face, friend. What brings you to Fort Ware? I'm the head of the Tithe Caravan, as brought the tithes here yesterday. That bend in wine was much appreciated, although some of us are suffering for it today. An additional treat I thought you may enjoy. Hello, I'm Jax. Are you now? I want to be a dragon rider one day. Do you think I can do it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll practice hard and everything. It's not about practice. It's about who the dragon chooses to be with. Well, I'm sure a dragon would want to be with me. Oh, hello. I've not done anything wrong, have I? Not that I know of. Do you know where Jim is? His mother said he was playing with you, and now he's gone. Hmm. He said something about going to trap tunnel snakes in the dark caves. We told him it was dangerous, but he didn't listen. He said he'd done it lots of times before. The dark caves? Where are they? Jack's over there knows. He dares kids to go to the internet to check out how brave they are. Jax, I'd like to talk with you. I've heard that you may know where Jim is. Jim? Yeah, he went to the dark caves to trap tunnels on snakes. He's brave, but not as brave as me. I wouldn't call putting your life in danger of your brave. Where are these caves? On the other side of the wheel bowl. I can give you a map if you like. I'm sure a map will be useful. Here, I drew it myself. It shows all the secret tunnels and everything. Thanks. Oh, if you see my image in anywhere, tell her to leave those poor trundle bugs alone and come see me. It's no good. I think he's too far in. Any idea how to get these boards off? The only way I can think of is to smash them. We need to see some things to smash the map board, but don't, 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 don't. Hello, Decor. How are you today? A little sore-headed, Jacob. And yourself? Can't complain. Though I still wish I was up there, fighting Thread instead of being wear-bound. How are your injuries? Master Healer says they're as good as they're going to get. Thread's nasty when it gets you. My back and sides burn constantly. Subspore says he doesn't want me up there again. So I train the next lot of riders down out here, here, here. And you train one well, well. You were a good student, Decor. Do you remember that trick of how to speak to your dragon? Ah. 
I do know how to speak to Zen. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, good. Well, have a good day, Decor. No doubt I'll see you around. I won't be going far. I'm ready, ready to leave. Yes, the call. Nothing, nothing right now, now, now. now.
It's just over there. You can't miss the entrance. It's all boarded up. I haven't got time to talk, Decor. Feels like I have the whole of the Weir's clothing to fix. You're back. Want to practice now, then? A good idea. I could use the practice. Right, lad. Arm yourself. Go into your inventory and select the knife. Right. To use the combat stance that Jacob taught us when we were whirlings, press the action button. Good. You've kept your form, I see. Whilst holding the action button, you can circle around your enemy by pressing left or right. Give it a try. Right. Now press forward once to do a light attack. Easy, easy lad. You nearly ripped my shirt. Now press and hold forward to do a heavy attack. Excellent. Bear in mind, though, that a heavy attack takes longer, and you'll be vulnerable for a moment. Watch your enemy and how they move to gauge when is a good time to strike. Now try defending. Press down to defend at any time. Ah, oh, you're back. Want to practice now, then? A good idea. I could use the practice. Right, lad. Arm yourself. Go into your inventory and select the knife. Right. To use the combat stance that Jacob taught us when we were whirlings, press the action button.
Good. You've kept your form, I see. Whilst holding the action button, you can circle around your enemy by pressing left or right. Give it a try. Right. Now press rest press rest button to attack. Now press rest press rest press rest press rest press press and hold forward to do a heavy attack. Excellent. Bear in mind, though, that a heavy attack takes longer, and you'll be vulnerable for a moment. Watch your enemy and how they move to get a good, good time to strike. Now try defending. Press down to defend at any time. Now press rest, press, 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 Trying to get around the side of an enemy will give you an advantage. Also, so the more you fight, the stronger you'll get. So now my blood's all fired up. Do you want to spar for a while? Why not? Defend yourself. That's the spirit. You'll soon forget about that sore head. That's enough for today. I'm worn out before I've begun. I'll need to bar your hammer to break through the boards. What? But I got all this firestone to break. I haven't got time to discuss this with you, Hal. I need that hammer. Fine. Here. But I'll make sure that Jacob's wrath falls on your head when he hasn't got his firestone to train his whirlings. And bring it back when you're done. We need something to smash the boards open with. I used to mine these caves many years ago, so I know the lie of the outer ones. Come on, follow me. You've got a knife. We can waste no more time. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I don't remember this passage being blocked. Are you sure we've come the right way? Of course I'm sure. This wall, it must be formed from a recent cave-in. 
Maybe we can break through it. Come on! Come on! Come on! This is as far as I know. We never crossed these bridges as they were in ill repair and dangerous. I suppose they could support the weight of a child. I'll go ahead, you stay here. We'd only be putting both ourselves in danger. If Jim's in there, I'll find him. Be, be, be careful. Run across this bridge lest it collapse behind you. Right? I think so. The tunnel snakes chase me in here. I'm stuck. Is there another way round? Go back where you came from and take the other passage. I think that leads round. And keep an eye out for my trapping basket. I dropped it around there somewhere.
one would come for me. Oh, by the first egg, did you get trapped in here? Tunnel snakes chased me in. I'm lucky they didn't get under the door. We cannot go back that way. The bridge is gone. But there's got to be another way out of here. another way out of here. another way out of here. Jim, are you all right? You worried your mother and I so. He's fine. A few, few cut, cut, cuts and bruises. Nothing that won't heal. My duty to you, de If ever you are in need of a favor, you have only to ask. I'll bear that in mind. And as for you, young man, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Well, you always did like to make a grand entrance. 
I always thought that corridor was a dead end, even as a child. I never knew it led to the caves. Neither did I, but I can't say it surprised me. When they dug this place out, it was over a cave network that already existed. That place hasn't been visited in countless turns. Well, it's open now. I'm sure that the Master Smith would love to see what's in there. Gethin will be in his element. We'll never get him out. Greetings, Decor. How are you this morning? A little fragile after Nalaya's wake. And how is Marath, our gold? Mm, rumor is she may fly her clutch. Morath is melancholy, yes, but Zenth has not mentioned anything. It is unheard of for a gold to leave a clutch. Well, I suppose you'd know. How goes it with the tithe? The bended wine that came in yesterday was a welcome addition. I couldn't get it off the cart quick enough. Aye, the tithes seem in order, although there is a great shortage of ores in this last shipment. As long as we have enough food for the cold, the ores can go hang. But it's not, not, not like, like the mamas asked him to my mind, man, it's literally the little short. I'll have to ask the trader that brought it in. Give the dish some body. I can't give you any more, or there'll be none left for anyone else.
When is this meeting going to start? And as soon as Temen and Barak can be bothered to show up, Temen's busy trying to win his money back. I wish someone would take those dice from them and throw them in the lake. Quiet, lad. I need to be concentrated. Here to lose money to this gambling fool? Aye. And a share of my wits, too, knowing the way he plays. Are you calling me a cheat? No, just a man who's unreasonably lucky with, with ice. Well, I shall leave you to it. I'll see you at Sabor's meeting later on. I suppose. Although I think the more traditional among us will not like what he has to say. Quiet, lad. I need to concentrate. You can have them back after you've attended the meeting. Who died and made him wing leader? When is this meeting going to start? When is this meeting going to start? When is this meeting going to start? Ah, Decor, how good of you to join us. <sighs> Sorry for being late. I had a long watch last night. We understand. Please, join us.
Now that we are all here, there are a few matters we need to attend to. Firstly, as I'm sure you are all aware, there is a distinct lack of potential werewomen in the ware. Wary teeth. How can these young idiots with clouded heads possibly find anything? We just haven't looked hard enough. And have your efforts for been any more successful than Ben Ben? Well, no, but I... Then hold your tongue. What do you suggest, Sabor? We go to the holds. Fort Hold being the first. This is ridiculous. Tradition... <laughs> Thread score tradition, man. We have no other option. Morath is dying, and we have a new gold that needs a rider. Otherwise, it is the end of this wear. Tradition was in place to help us through the pass of the Red Star. Now that is nearly over, there are some who fear that given time the holds will question our purpose and withdraw from wear protection. I see this as a way of bridging the divide that may open. The wing second speaks true. But we are dragon riders. They wouldn't dare. The wear hold and hold bond is inseparable. It has happened before and it will happen again. Riders are here to protect the people of Pern from thread. With no thread, we have no use. And with no use, we will lose the tithes. And the weir needs the tithe to survive. So as you can see, something must not be done and quickly. To Kor and Kentatan, go to Fort Hold and see what or who you can find there. Make sure you let Lord Gralt know of your intention on arrival. Very well. The rest of you will fly to various wares and holds to inform them of Nalaya's death. May I say a few words about Nalaya? Something has been troubling me. Please. Has anyone not considered that although she had just left Ista, an almost tropical environment, Nalaya died from an infection associated with extreme cold? So? Your point is? It seems strange that she should contract such a disease. I had one more and needs needs further in the investigation. Lita has a point. Very well. But I cannot see how Nalaya's death could be suspicious. She was old. That is all. Is there any other business? Good. I will communicate all the other riders' destinations via Yugoth to your dragons. Clear skies and fair weather. Decor, wake up, man. We must get ourselves to Fort Hold. Huh? We must find these werewoman candidates. Come on, Brent and Zenth are waiting. I will see you shortly. Yes, Decor. I'm ready to leave. Ah, Decor. Glad I caught you. Sabor asked me to give you this. And this is? It's a message t to be given to Lamrat, Lord Grault's personal assistant. The message officially informs Fort Hold of Nalaya's death. As you wish.
Do you need reminding on how to get Zenth to fly between? Yes, go over the details once more. Call Zenth by pressing the dragon button and telling him you're ready to leave. Yes, Decor. I'm ready to leave. You will be shown a map of Pern with places you already know of marked on it. Select one of these places. Climb on Zenth's back, and he will take you there. I'll see you at Fort Hold. I'll go and speak to Lord Geralt. I'll need you to start looking around for search candidates. Enjoy the gather decor, but don't get carried away. If I need you, I'll contact you. Yes? Sorry, just looking at your tapestries. No harm in looking, I suppose. What is that one at the back? Ah, this is a very special work that was commissioned by the head woman. Although with the preparations for the gatherer, I haven't had time to deliver it to her. Perhaps I can deliver the tapestries for you. Thanks, that would be a great help. You may find her in the harbor hall don't think this carries you any favor, though. Ah, a dragon rider. I'll wager you work worked up a first on your journey here. What'll it be? A drink sounds good. 
Ah, fine choice. Brewed for five turns, that's that stuff is. The finest is on the northern continent. So, how's business? In my line of work, business is always brisk. People always have a first on them at needless quenching. My two best customers are over there, Toulousian and Malorian the Miners. Couple of verses short of a ballad, if you know what I mean. What makes you say that? Well, they keep mumbling on about ancient caves beneath this place. I've been thinking coming here for 15 turns and I've never heard of such rubbish. Another drink? A drink sounds good. Anyway, enough about them. What brings you to fault? My companion and I are on search. Well, you've picked a good place to start. There are many fine women in full vault, if you know what I mean. But a lot of brigands, too. Brigands? What makes you say that? There's a lot of de devious types around today. Watch you don't get bungled. Caught a young whelp trying to take ale off my stool. Barely out of his mother's arms he was. You finished that one quick, 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 quick. One, 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 four, 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 oh, oh, oh. Yes. Just one more. Good stuff, isn't it? My own personal brew keeps out the wind with the fish pill. So what else 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 you need to tell me? Have you noticed how everyone seems tense? These are supposed to be happy occasions, but this time I... Oh, I don't know. It's as if there are some bad omens setting people on edge. Well, now that you mention it, it's affecting everyone. Even me. I have a friend who you usually have a lips with the easy event message, and he travels in from Southern Bowl. I haven't heard from him, and he seems to have disappeared. I know it's not much, but I'll guarantee a lot more people have a similar story. I sense Pern is trying to tell us something. Hmm, interesting. Fort Ware has had this sudden and peculiar death. Keep your eyes and ears peeled, lad. There's a storm brewing and no mistake. Oh, oh, I do enjoy spending all my husband's money at a gather. Oh, hello. I'm just waiting here for my brother to finish on the stall. We share it, you see. Take it, take it, turn, 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 I do enjoy spending all my husband's money at a gather. What, what an honour! A dragon rider at my stall! How pleased I am to see you! And I you. you. Your food looks delicious. What, what little there is left? Someone's been stealing from me while my back is turned. Stole some pies! And me map of the gather too! If you see anyone looking suspicious, will you apprehend them? Thieves tend to shy away from dragon riders. I doubt I'll see him. But the only way to catch them is to get close to them. Mm, your uniform does kind of give you away, though. I'll see what he like, I can I do. do, do.
I thought this was supposed to be a large gather. I've traveled a long way for this. Patience, Oliver. We've asked to go yet. All the traders are not here yet. Even so, he has a point. There's something funny going on around here, and you know it. I can't seem to find that llama hair I wanted anywhere. Good day to you, Dragon Rider. Look, Daisy, it's a Dragon Rider. Don't want a Dragon Rider! Want my dragon! Please excuse my daughter, sir. It's just that she's lost her toy. She's a bit upset about it. Where did she lose it? We're not sure. She's been playing near the storerooms and the kitchen lately. Her aunt works there, you see. She seems terribly upset that she's lost it. It means a lot to her. She loves dragons. Don't you think about entering the contest. It's for civilians only. Hello there. My playing must have lured you here. This is a piece I can compose to my myself. Well, I, uh... It's rather beautiful, don't you think? I thought this fountain would be the perfect setting for my music. But all the activity is out in the main square. Surely you would get a bigger audience if you played out there. Ah, this is true. As a journeyman, I do have to make a living. It's a, it's a constant back, 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 Well, good luck. But, but I still feel you'd be better off playing out there. You only have an audience of three. Perhaps you're right. What is it? Sorry, friend. If I decide I disturbed you. I'm no friend of yours, Ryder. Nor do I intend to be. So if you'll excuse me. I'm no friend of yours either. But I do you the honor of extending courtesy where it is due. Yes, uh, you're right. Forgive me. My nerves are a little on edge. One of our numbers has been taken ill. And the workload has effectively doubled. What brings you to Fort Hold? Same as all the others, the gather. I'd be happier staying here if the return journey to Istos is troublesome as the way you. You mean you were waylaid by bandits? Aye. And every other plague of Egyptian sickness in Kankan Town Town. As well as a sick comrade, the cattle have been taken ill. With no cattle, we get no pay. I may be good with a sword, but such a weapon cannot stave off circumstance. I'm sorry to hear that. Greetings, Dragon Rider. My name is Horrid. What can I do for you today? What do you have to sell? Beasts, Dragon Rider. Beasts from all over Pern. Forgive me, Herat, but your stall seems a little... sparse. Trade must have been brisk. My stocks are in very cheap short 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 short. I was one of I could buy all types of beasts to whoever paid the highest price. But trade has been poor of recent times. My herd beasts are sickly and weak. The only healthy ones are the ones I have here. You wouldn't believe that just a handful of people could generate so much mess, would you?
alone. I cannot walk when I am disturbed. Leave me alone. I cannot walk when I am disturbed. Oh, good. Two dragon riders in one day. How comforting. What is it that you want? Catan and myself are here on search. And to deliver a message to a man named Lamrak. Well, that would be me, dragon rider. Why didn't you say so? I am Lamrat, assistant and cousin to Lord Grout. The message is from Von Hall, informing you officially of our werewoman's death. Yes, an unfortunate business. You have the condolences of Fort Hold and my lord. But you won't find any replacements in there. <laughs> Nothing but drudges, very low caliber stock. It is the quality of person, not their heritage, that matters. I would like to see with my, my, my own eyes. I would prefer it if you would not. I'm trying to keep people out at the moment as they are preparing the interior for gather. And I think one dragon rider in there is in enough. We, we have a thief thief in the market, and they are not getting inside. Perhaps you should come back when the villain has been apprehended. Very well. If that is your wish. The Harpers may be a better source of advice regarding search. They seem to know everything that's going on around here, if not all of Perna. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we could help, help you. Thank you, Lamrak. I shall do that. My pleasure. Anything to help a dragon ride. And uh, don't try sneaking past me. I've eyes as sharp as the Master Smith's swords. You'll have to talk to her. Don't worry. Your sweets are safe. What's your name? Keela. I'm best friends with Daisy. But she's grumpy after losing her toy dragon. So I came over here to... This is his sweets. It fell off the cart. Do I have to give them back? I'm sure the cart owner doesn't mind. Like you say, finders are keepers. Can I touch your dragon? I suppose so. Really? Yippee! Zenth, we have need of you. Wow! That was wonderful! I've got to go and tell my mum I touched a dragon. Have some, 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 wait, wait, thank you. Bye! Boots are fine, thank you. Nonsense. It would be in order to furnish you with a new pair. Okay. Let's see what you have. One 
wonderful. I'll need to measure you first. Okay, I have everything I need. It seems that I may have just the pair. If you permit me, I'll be back momentarily. There, my gift to you, sir. A fine pair of boots for a fine man. Thanks, I think. Those boots coming along, Dragon Rider. I don't see them on your feet. Those clothes look a little bedraggled. Perhaps you'd let me fashion a new set for you. It would be a credit to my family's name to have my clothes worn by a dragon rider. Thank you. I could use some new clothes. Well, if you'll permit me, I'll, I'll need to measure you first. There, then I can start making the clothes. Looks as if we have your size in, sir. Uh, j just a moment. Would you believe it? I travel all this way. And my cart breaks down right in the entrance. What happened? Well, I've had a loose bearing for the last few miles of my journey. And as soon as I got here, it must have snapped off. Then the herd beast just collapsed. Just dropped dead without warning. Is it me? Or is that just a little strange? Yes, it is. I, I really, 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 really need, need, need a new bracket. And a fresh herd beast. I can fix the wheel myself, but I'll need a new bracket to attach it to the cart. You couldn't help, help Uncle, could you? Could, could? Well, 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 I am rather busy. I can't leave here in case these kids steal any more of my goods. I'll see what I can get you. Many, many thanks. I'll wait here for you to return. The longer I'm here, the less trade gets into fort. So you better hurry. The longer I'm here, the less trade gets into fort. So you better hurry.
The cart owner over there is in need of a herd beast to move his cart from the entrance. Could I use one of yours? What? I don't give them away for free. I'll make you a deal. Dragon Rider, if you can fetch me a baby tunnel snake, then I will give you a herd beast. Having such a creature will fetch a good price from one of my clients. More than enough to cover my recent losses. A live one, mind you. I have no use for any with your knife marks in its hide. Tunnel snakes are named to dangerous creatures, Iraq. Even baby ones. That's the price. Take it or leave it. Snake yet, Dragon Rider. I'm ready to leave.
a pickaxe lying around here, have you? and produce all manner of things. Trouble is, I think that the ore has been getting scarce, so things have been a little slow. So we have to rely on things that people bring us to keep us busy. Artifacts and the like. Well, if I find anything, I can get you to do blah, blah, bring it to you. Got anything interesting for me? He has more arrogance than one man can stand. Yes, I've had the pleasure. What's his problem? I reckon he was born under the Red Star, that one. Claims he has too much work to do. Listen, you couldn't get your dragon to stomp on him or burn him or something. You really don't like him, do you? Oh, curse that master smith for making these cogs too tight. What's that? Oh, Dragon Rider, perhaps you can help. Something is jammed at the cogs. Is that all? No, seems like I need new sails as well. The old ones are done for. Perhaps you can find me some? We're abroad. I'm Rello, and this is my associate, Nissan. Glad to meet you. Likewise. Well, we're glad that you came to talk to us, Dragon Rider. We have concerns we wish we would avoid to you. 
than the voice testing. We have, have noticed there has been an increase in the demand for ore and a drop 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 of supply license. Would you know anything of this? What do you suspect? Someone has an interest in a great amount of ore. For what purpose? I know not. But it bodes ill for men of my profession. Our ship missions and barely feel the car car cut cut. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. That would be appreciated.
Oh, if you see my Imogen anywhere, tell her to leave those poor trundle bugs alone and come see me. You again? Come to break another one of my work tools, have you? Hardly. How was that boy we saved? He's fine. Good. <coughs> Good. Well, I think I may be going down with something. I thought perhaps it might be empty, but it was worth the try. Hello, Captain. What do you make of it? Well, you've made quite a discovery, haven't you? I could modify this door's mechanism to make some excellent thread shutters. What I don't understand is how something like this could be hidden away for so long. Oh, the answer's quite simple. We forgot. Forgot? I find if people don't have something under their noses after a while it fades. I still think our ancestors have a lot more secrets than what we see here. Some even say that dragons evolved from fire lizards. Wary teeth. You believe what you like, my lad, but one day you'll see I'm right.